Uh, the interchange was originally built in 1959. Um, so that was, you know, you know, we're pushing 60 years that that's been, uh, 60 years plus now, I guess, that it was built. Um, and so we're at a point now where the traffic volumes and capacity of the interchange has been far exceeded. And we're looking to the future to improve the safety and capacity of, uh, for the traveling public here in Colorado Springs. We'll be uh, building, rebuilding I-25 and US-24 both. Uh, it'll be new concrete paving, uh, eliminating a lot of the potholes, uh, and then also new asphalt from about this area south as we tie into to home. The most important thing that people need to recognize is, is we're starting to move into phase one of construction that we're going to start impacting traffic. Um, you're going to see a lot more activity in the construction area. We're going to be putting up a lot more traffic control devices on I-25 as well as on US-24 um, and Cimarron. So the roadway is going to be changing and the way traffic patterns are working right now are going to be changing quite rapidly um, over the next few weeks. Um, those things are going to happen continuously um, over, the pat over the next year or so. So we've asked people to be very cognizant of their surroundings, pay attention to where they're driving, pay attention to what's changing out there um, to keep themselves safe and everybody else safe that's in the, in the work zone. In each direction during the daytime, it'll, it'll be nighttime closures, uh, lane restrictions. You'll always have one lane of traffic through uh, when we do this work, and that'll be restricted from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Uh, probably every night for the next month or so as we work on I-25. In preparation for getting the new southbound on-ramp built, which we have out here, uh, and also uh, working on the southbound exit ramp, uh, just south of Colorado, it'll be more of a direct ramp into uh, US-24, eliminating the old loop ramp. Uh, we'll also have a signalized intersection at that point where it'll make it e easier access both eastbound and westbound on 24 to get to southbound I-25. We'll finish the entire project in the probably late fall of 2017. And we do appreciate everyone's patience through this process. And we ask that uh, they be aware of our workers, their safety is going through the project. Be aware of your surroundings, uh, avoid distractions as you drive through, and, and above everything, be safe.